Um, at this point, you're getting close to the end of day four. Well, that's not my fault. Are you sure? <laughs> pretty sure that you're the one that keeps stopping to look for crap. I'm pretty sure we started here on day three. It was not my fault that we were on day four. That's their fault. Well, what were we on day four already? I know. Yeah, we missed your day. Sh- your day one. Oh, you're, okay. You're at the end of day one. But they had five days, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's not my problem. Hence why the thing was so... Time is running short. My yeah. patience is thin. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Yakety schmackety. <laughs> All right, so... We have no respect for authority. <laughs> I'm not sure where that started. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Maybe it was when we realized that all of our elders had their their memories erased when we did, and yeah. they didn't know anything more than we did. Yeah, all put right. everything on a much leveler playing field. Boy. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> when nobody has any wisdom, it's really easy to be wise. Right. <laughs> all right, so we go up to her. Okay, so you work your way back up to the uh, the clave. She's like, kind of gives you a once over. She's like, yeah, hey, don't get too excited. You don't have it. No, we spent like the last several hours trying to find all the things you sent us to look for. And all we know now is that we have to go through the portal because... Because some idiot lost a bet with an extra dimensional being. Yeah, that. Nobody lost a bet with an extra dimensional being. Well, that's well, not what Oriel said. He seems to think that it belongs to him. Well, and so... he has enough power that I'm willing to concede that point. Okay, so if Shenazar won't help us until we get something back from those other Aeon priests. So we have to go through the portal because that's where he thinks they're at. So going through this portal, what are we what are we going to be facing on the other side? I believe, and she kind of stops for a moment like she's thinking, let me check. She goes over to one of the, the bookshelves, um, kind of does that, peruse the, the spines for a moment. Pulls down a book, looks at the cover, slides it back, pulls down the book next to it, uh, flips it open, rummages around, takes her about five or six minutes, very long, five or six minutes. Um, TikTok lady knows. <laughs> like, is she less distracted this time than she was what, earlier? A little bit. Now okay. she looks concerned. Okay. Um, yes, it appears that Saranac is... Very low gravity. Um, you can breathe the air. It's kind of a strange void with faces and heads floating in it. Okay, so just like it looks on the tin. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, I mean, we're going to go through and see if we can find these guys, but at this point, I think you guys, you're all out of luck. I'm not sure how we're going to find them in less than a day and get everything back. You might want to ev- evacuate your town. Yeah. And especially keep an eye on that kid on it, because he thinks going down the Misty Corridor is okay, and clearly it is not. No, the Misty Corridors are dangerous. Yeah. Could have mentioned that. He knows he's not allowed to go down those corridors. Well, he told us to go down those corridors. It's because he knows that that's where... Ishkan is. Ishtanazar is cool. I'm cutting his, on, his hand off when we get back too. Okay, great. He doesn't know what's down that corridor. Well, he tell him he's not allowed to go down it. Tell him he's also not allowed to send people down it. Yeah, that's a terrible plan. I told you you could go down the gold corridors. Yeah, and yet you failed to mention that the misty corridors were dangerous too. I told you they were dangerous. Okay. I'm not finding semantics with you. Yeah. We're going to go through this portal because we have a need. Is it just an open portal both sides? Yes. It's a two-way door. <laughs> All right. So after we leave her presence, well, I mean, worst case scenario, we go through the portal of Saranac, we get stuck in Saranac, and Ariel blows up the town, and we're stuck in Saranac because there's no way to get back. And then we can jump higher. Sure. That's awesome. Think of the amazing powers we'll have over there. Okay. So. I mean, I. Yeah. So we go through the portal. Okay. Look, you've never wanted to dunk from half court. That would be awesome. (laughs) So. This is kind of what it looks like. If 
you can make it out on that. Oh, well, this looks like a lovely place. I'm so excited we're going there. <laughs> really? <laughs> Big pointy faced fishy looking cetacean well, that, looking that, that you don't see right away. Oh well we'll see right. it soon enough is what you're saying. Maybe. Right away. Great big swordfish floating in the air. Big means giant. great big swords. Yeah. Big and giant lots of fish. Heads and There are also some smaller ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> you smaller. know. In case like you do. <laughs> <laughs> like they do. Oh boy. Sorry, we shouldn't mock the creatures. I know what happened last time I made some mocking remarks. Yeah, I know I got hit. <laughs> I should be more careful. I mean, no, but Andrew's not vindictive like some GMs. He's nice. <laughs> there would have to be a I'm GM sure you you're specifically horses. sending that call out to. Are you? Unless you're a horse, then you're in trouble. I was going to yeah, say, well, well yeah. your horses keep living and you keep beating this. <laughs> it's almost as if he's like, trying like to a beat dead a dead horse. horse. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. And yet. And yet. <laughs> I will lead you there. Like a horse to water. Oh. Like a dead horse to water. Right. I was, oh. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> She doesn't say these things when Monica and takes a sip. done that before I had something in my mouth. Hot fluid in my... That's no. <laughs> phrasing. We're not doing phrasing No, anymore. we're not. A we're sip not. of hot tea. A sip of hot tea in my mouth. Unfortunate. Ta-da. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Wait, wait. He's about to take a drink. Quick, do it together. <laughs> I wish I could. I'm not that funny. <laughs> I have terrible timing. Do you know me? I know. All right. Uh. Yes, yeah, like a dead horse to water. <laughs> <laughs> so we go through the portal. Yes. And we make Larry go through first. Because we don't like His him reasons. anymore. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you slide through to the other side. And it's weird. <laughs> there's, you think? there's nothing underneath your feet, and yet you can kind of control how you move, mostly by thought. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I was going to say. There's no, this very large head that totally... kind of like rolls up towards you. He's totally flat. And turns, and you can see the gaps in the back of the skull. Show me what you got. <laughs> and as it kind of like pivots, you see something icy crusting the back side of it. Is that John Malkovich? Oh, that <laughs> That's where we are. <laughs> mm. So I guess the rest of us go through. Yeah. Okay. And you find the same thing. You and when we, of, and we come it's, in. It's not like moving around in zero G in, in you know, outer space mm -hmm. um, where you, if you didn't have something to push off of, you wouldn't be able to move. You can move kind of slowly with your mind. So Pushing off will also... He's not just moving with his mind. He's totally using his hands like flippers. Trying to... <laughs> Since Deborah's not on the camera, she's doing <laughs> this. If you are listening at home, we look ridiculous right now. <laughs> I don't have any skill in swimming. I'm doggy paddling. Oh, here we go. I can sing. <laughs> So, here you are on this other side, and you can see this ginormous head. Mm -hmm. And you kind of get a pr and you know, pretty pretty quickly figure out why somebody might want a vehicle here. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy to maneuver. Mm -hmm. The best way to do it is to kind of like will yourself towards one of these big heads and push off. Well, it is a formless void with all of these things just sort of floating in it. You can see, not too far away from you, a number of really small faces just kind of looking up at you. They're almost like mask size. They're like silvery and mask, you know. Do, do any of these faces appear to have any sort of 
recognition of the fact that we're here. Nope. So they're just static faces floating they through. Like, they're, yeah, they're like statues. Okay. If there's something more to it, you haven't noticed it yet. Okay. Um, so there's a big head with a bunch of frost on the back of it? Yeah. Are they Any, all like that or just one? Just the one. Well, that would be the that would be the thing that we should go check out. Mm-hmm. So I will myself over there. She glides smoothly. All right. So when you put your hand on the on the head, uh huh, there's this like topsy turvy moment, and you can't quite understand it, but it has sentience, and it is aware. Of you touching it. Creepy. So I try to think to it rather than speak to it. Have you seen any others like me recently? There's no real response. Oh. You can tell it's psychically aware, but you don't seem to be on the right wavelength. Oh, well, no wonder I need the right wavelength thing. No wonder we need to go find these idiots. That's why they have it. Following their trail through the formless void is going to be tricky. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that in a day. This is going to be fun. Does the frost seem to be damaged to it? Is it recent? Is it? It's kind of recent. I wonder how the, hell, how the heck it got frosted. Um, you go look at it closer. Uh huh. There's a small creature at the center of it. Frozen to the side of the skull. I I don't know what I want to do with this. <laughs> I know. Probably the once skull you release back it, here is can't... ice cold. It's like sub zero. It's the creature frozen back there seem to be alive. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What kind of creature? Somewhat insectoid. Can I? Poor Jeff. Poor Jeff. Poor Jeff. No, oh, no. <laughs> Poor Jeff. No, Jeff's digging this place, right? Because yeah. he's yeah, flying he, with ease. He's, yeah, he's yeah. not having too much trouble. Yeah. He's slower here, but he doesn't have any difficulty with it. Yeah. Can I? I can't believe I'm going to try this. Can I try leveraging this frozen critter off of its the back of its head? You can try. I'm going to try. Okay. Are I'm, you leveraging it with? Well, I, you know, I have an explorer's pack. I mean, I probably have crowbar. some kind of crowbar or some crowbar. some kind of. I was thinking we have an axe here that can heat the, that the axe can heat up. Well, I rolled a four, so I'm not sure that's worth. Well, that we it could it could it would be hot for 28 hours, but you don't uh, you don't actually leverage it off. Uh huh. You send a chunk of it floating free. A chunk of the ice or a chunk of the insect? A chunk of the insect. Ew. It's a frozen chunk. Save it. We can make dinosaurs later. <sighs> well, it just seems weird that it would be here and it would be freeze. This is bizarre. So is the area under where the insect was, is it Cause this whole place is also normal. frozen? Mm-hmm. This is so strange. Well, I wouldn't want a frozen bug stuck to the back of my head if I was floating in space, would you? Really? <laughs> I, I I motion to Jeff. There is a little bit. There's a little bit of like steam rising off of it, so it's clearly slowly melting, but it is very slow. That's that. That's how cold it is. This is so weird. This whole thing is weird, right? You had a point. What part of any of this is normal? All right. And your crowbar, after just prying uh -huh. it up a little bit, is already cold. Crazy. All how, right. How visible is the uh, the portal from where we are? You can see it. It looks pretty much exactly like it looks on the other side, except now instead of floating things in it, there's a distorted view of a room with debris on the floor. All right, everyone remember where we left the door. 
you remember where we left the door. Oh, yes. I'd like to take an hour <laughs> to familiarize myself with this area. Okay. With this, this endless void of floating heads and hey, now, door. Hey, now. Don't you question my methods. I also have tracking. I can sing and track. <laughs> and remember. And remember. If there was going to be something I could do, remembering where we were would be the thing to remember. Yes. I marked, I marked the path in my memory with a jaunty limerick. The song. The song. So, right. you kick off and try to explore a little bit? Yeah. It is a formless wasteland of floating heads and silvery masks. One of them drifts kind of close to you guys. I can actually call this a discovery. Ooh. Oh, there's one for you. Oops. And one for you. Tanks. And it floats towards you, and you can feel it resonating with the sensation that you were told we were supposed to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is this item? It's a mask. I touch it. It feels exactly like the thing that you felt when he was telling you about it. Excellent. I put it in my bag. Let's go. <laughs> it's a mask. You should put it on. No. I think it's a terrible idea. Uh, no. What is wrong with you? Everybody give me a perception roll. Twelve. Seventeen. Eight. <laughs> All right. So, Monica, you and Scott see floating off in the distance something that looks out of the ordinary like a there's a white chunk of something that is not shaped like any of the faces floating through the space around here and it's not the insect they sent out into mm -hmm. the uh, is it's it, much bigger is it's it a shaped, shaped like teardrop a tear? yeah no. it's not shaped like a teardrop no boo it looks sort of like a lump with a couple of strange appendages sticking up off of it man i hope those are the guys hanging on top of something let's go kick their butts i like this plan okay or rescue them because they may be innocent no we're not rescuing these guys these guys are jerks i've already decided it is known it is known <laughs> so you kick your way over towards them oh no <laughs> and this thing that you saw kind of rolls towards you and sure enough you were right it is the guys um, and you see this frozen hand sticking up uh -huh. as it comes around. They're kind of clinging to one another, but not by any, but not by limbs, but by the fact that they are frozen together, back to back. Well, it looks like karma's gotten them too. And as they come around, you can see that they were like flash frozen. I think maybe we should get out of here because whatever flash froze them and that bug, this is not good. They are starting to, they, you know, they kind of like turn, turn towards you and you can see where um, there are things uh, gathered on them, like dust and other debris. There's a lot of it that is settled on them. They have been frozen for a very long time. They did not steal that raft. Correct. All right. Let's get this back to Ishka's and Zazar. How long is that coil? How long is that coil? Well, not like that. No, it's not way long enough. Well, they're, if they've been frozen this long, it's not a cryogenic frozen. There's no... You ever open that pack? Probably. What kind of a adventurer do you take me for? Do you not also have an explorer's pack with rope in it? I, I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I got my pack out to put the mask in. Well, you know, in this weird formless void, it's probably easier to rifle through somebody else's pack than it is to get the one off your back. And <laughs> it probably yeah. is. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 to try and, and use the, the rope to sort of wrap it around them, them and, and pull them closer. Go ahead that's and say not, it. That's not even that much because... They're not fighting. Uh, they're not fighting. And <laughs> they've got their arms and legs akimbo, so. Something to hang that. Let's pull them back through the portal. Okay. So we can prove they didn't do it. Okay. Well, that means that Shunasar has the raft, probably that jerk. 
I'm betting on it. Yeah, me too. No, I'm betting on on it. That he has it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kid. Oh, oh that on it has it. Oh, yeah. He probably does. You're probably right. Yeah. Oh, jerk. So do we get back to the portal sufficiently? Um, Monica. Yes. Difficulty five, intellect test. You can lower the difficulty because of your ability. You mean the familiarize? Yeah. How about tracking? So that's a four. Tracking is hard because there's nothing to track. That is untrue. There's no there's no ground. There's no footprints. There's... That is untrue. There are things floating in the air, and they're not floating that fast. I'll give you that. It'd be like tracking or uh, tracing sky markers and things. I'll give you that. Okay, so that was a five, and I reduced it by two. Mm -hmm. So I rolled a ten. So that will be a three. Difficulty. Okay. So you managed to find your way back without any extra difficulty. Okay. Yay. Thank God. Yes. Right? If you failed that, it would take you at least another day to find your ground, to find your bearings. Well done. Hey, you know, I have an XP. I would have rolled that. I know. Because <laughs> you don't want to get lost here. No. So as you start to come up on the, uh, the doorway, mm -hmm. you can see this great big fish thing. Sailing through. Swim faster. Faster sailing. Faster. And it's moving towards you. Of course it is. Quickly. Swim faster. Swim faster. <laughs> swim faster. <clears throat> Click. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a really solid idea. Okay. So you start trying to move faster. Go ahead and give me a uh, speed roll, everybody. Speed defense or speed? Just speed. Nineteen. <laughs> you are trying to move fast, and it is trying to move fast. This is sort of like a chase. I rolled a seven, so take one, please. I got a nat twenty. If I can use use the effect to kind of <laughs> pull throw her, her ahead. Yeah, because I rolled a four on that second one. You're gonna do what now? I rolled a nat twenty. If I can use the, the first the special one? effect on uh, that seven. to kind yeah. of yeah. throw so her, you get to keep her and it, throw it's her a little great. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. You give her a little bit of boost of speed. So my first roll was seven, and the second roll was four, and Monica says I get to keep the seven. Mm -hmm. You okay. do. You Hooray! get to choose the better I mean, of the two. I mean, not that a seven's great. <laughs> no, but it's better than a four. Yes. With the little assist, that might be enough. I'd like to take my action this round to cast Shadowy Ribbons on it. Okay. To slow it down. It does not seem I, to affect it. I, that's terrible. <laughs> and I, it is big and moving through. I do have the one in speed. Okay. But that does that that, that just reduces my the, effort. Lowers the That's if you spend effort. I know. Spend it. And I didn't. No. I, that was dumb. No. Lesson I always, I always no, because so, I always forget to spend the effort. As you get close, as, as as it gets closer. Horror punk would like to know if you're going to kill yourself with your rolls. <laughs> Really it hard. may very well happen. Thanks. So there is a intake of breath behind you. Oh no! Run faster. And you can feel the heat. And it's pretty much only able to get you. Mm -hmm. Because you're the only one back far enough. Sure, of course. You're at the back of the group. Even with the bit of boost that, that, that Alary tried to give you. Yeah. It was not enough. Yeah. And there's this like intake of breath behind you. And you can feel your heat pulling away from you. Nice. Um, can I get a speed defense roll and now? So, um, Ooh, or, or, or can I can I roll. can I can I take my action and and initiate my phasing? Um, go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Let's do this. We'll roll initiative. <laughs> Oh, but I am trained in initiative, so my two is the equivalent of a three. <laughs> I rolled a 16. Okay. Go you. Go me. You rolled a 10. Okay. Now let's find out what it rolled. So. It is. Uh, Deborah. Yes! Fish. Scott. And Monica. We just have to get through the. All right, so Deborah, you phase. 
it still sucks the heat away from you. That's that's terrible. <sighs> boo. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Still a great deal of heat leaving you. Yeah. Go ahead and um, make a mic defense roll. Well, that doesn't help me. Because I wanted my speed defense. Because the phasing helps my speed defense. Um, Alright, I'm going to remember this time. Yeah, you're going to spend some might. I'm going to spend some might. So. So, I'm spending. Okay. And I rolled an 11. I rolled an 11. Go ahead and take five points of my damage. Whoa! It is a great deal of your heat is leached away. Boo! Boo! Now goes the fish. That was the fish. Oh, that was the fish doing its thing. That was the fish doing its thing. Okay. All right, because you phased. Oh, because I phased on my action. That's right. Right. All right, so we have to. You can't do anything else. Nope. Except move. Right. That is my goal. <laughs> Here's the other good news, though. Mm. Somehow phasing mm -hmm. has made it easier to move. Well, I suppose so. Yeah. That's excellent. Move faster. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. <clears throat> Uh, my best ranged attack didn't work, so I'm moving faster <laughs> toward the portal. Okay, so you're going to try to move faster. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Scott? Moving. Moving? Swinging the Aeon Priest at him. <laughs> swing those guys ahead, actually. No, really, swing them at the, hit the fish with actually, them. <laughs> the other way is better. They're a very hard them, object. You throw them that way, and physics kicks in. And you go that way. Yeah, you need towards to, the fish. You need to you oh. need to propel them at the fish. Yeah. I mean, I hate to I hate to use these dead on priests as a weapon, but um, you they, know they will. I do have the fire axe. You yes, do. but then you have to go touch the fish. Touch the fishy. <laughs> yeah, if you want to touch the fish, that's fine. Just one finger. <laughs> Just touch with one finger. No, <laughs> no touch the fishy. No, no touch. No, I, I don't. Touch I don't yeah. think that's a good idea. I think that's. A, I think that's a terrible. <laughs> yet again, plan. yet again, with you, that's a terrible plan. <laughs> I mean, you do what you want to do. We'll miss you in the next adventure. <laughs> I am. I am okay with throwing them towards the portal. Okay. Because I have better maneuverability than they do. Okay. <laughs> and I have the fire axe. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It's your turn. What are you doing? I'm, I'm moving faster toward the portal because I'm <laughs> smart. I'm the only one who knows the, where the portal is. If I don't go, you guys we, we may be able to find it. You can all see it at this point. Yeah, okay. It was all within line of sight. I was going to say, yeah, we, we, were, we were basically on top of it. That's when the fish showed up. Yeah. Oh, well, then, you were getting close. And oh, well, like, oh, there it is. I can see it. And then it's like, oh, crap, there's another thing I can see. <laughs> no I'd like good. to get through the portal if at all possible. Uh, not yet, but you can start heading that way still. All right. Well, then I'm heading continue that way. Heading that way. I continue to head that way. All right. Oh, dang it! So, Deborah. Yeah. You're up. Uh, I am going to continue moving forward because everything else that I have, um, that would be something. To uh, I, I don't really have anything good. That's what. No, it's the um, frigid wall projector. That's what I have, isn't it? Yeah. It's stealing our heat. That's, oh, that's it is a frigid wall use. projector. That's what I was going to tell you to use, but you, were, you went uh, insubstantial. It is. For some reason, I just got stuck on the wall projector, and I missed the fact that the word said frigid, which would mean that it would be that it creates the wall of supercooled air. Okay. Then inflicts damage equal to the cypher's level on anything that passes through it. So, yeah, so I'll throw the wall... You can throw it directly in its face. Yeah. Okay. You like throw it between you and it? Yeah. I know. Yes. Because you're hiding your face. You hide your face. From the camera. There's a great I mean, there's only one person at this table who gets to hide her face from the camera. <laughs> Fair. I screenshotted it at it so you can see what it looks like. I know what it looks like. I've actually gone back and watched it. <laughs> I, know, I did that in the other episode, and I was like, oh, dang it. 
Pad Andrew. Pad me. Problem is that's what I do when we run when I run most right. of the time. Yeah. I end up putting my hands up. Right. I have to untrain bad habits. Right. Bad habits. All right, so we throw up the frigid wall projector in front of the fish. Yes. Okay. Um, are you going to do it between you and Scott, or are you going to try to put it so it's... No, I want it, I want it between all of it and us. So all of you. Yes. Okay. Well, no, I'm not going to leave Scott out to hang. Well, I mean, we could, but that would no. be really bad. No, he's my friend. I know. You, I know. May, really you maybe, but him. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not leaving him alone. Who's going to find the ciphers otherwise? Right? I know. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So you, you project a frigid wall. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a discovery because you did nail the uh, explanation on that. Yay. And I'm going to do something what? really cool. Why do you keep handing Scott to get speed? He's it's only the idea. only one over there. Something. This side of the table idea. has two I know. people. He has done that every time. Not like, every time. No, that you handed them all to Scott the I first you, time. I handed them all to you, you too. Three to you once. I know he did. <laughs> he hasn't handed me anything directly. So <laughs> that's because you're so far away from him. I'll throw one next time. Get it right to you. Good thing I wear glasses. Gabby <laughs> style. I will explode then. <laughs> no, not Gabby style. That'd be terrible. So it's such a mess. With the frigid wall up. It doesn't know where to find you. Good. Yay! I like that answer. Yay. Faster. It sees by heat. Which cool. explains why the darkness does not affect it. And so you slide through the uh, portal on the other side, hit the ground, very happy that you didn't have to face it for much longer. And you've got these two frozen Aeon priests with you still. Well, you know. We'll leave them here at this edge of the portal to melt because they won't be really portable once we get inside. Back yeah. in our gravity. They're pretty heavy and hard to move. Yeah, well, they're, yeah, they're dead so, weight. So, so they get to stay on the floor here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying we'll leave them here and tell them where they are. And if the town isn't destroyed, then... Great. All right. Well, let's go find out what Ishanazar knows about this raft now that he's stolen. I mean, I still say it's on it. Probably. I think it's on it. I don't trust that kid. It's it's the little kid with the physics book in this neighborhood at this time of night. <laughs> Come little on. Little Tiffany is nine years old. Those There's books are way out. Those books are way above her. She's about to her. start something. She's about to start something. I'm just saying. <laughs> or do I owe her an apology? <laughs> <laughs> was a good shot. <laughs> it's rare that that one can come into play that way. <laughs> All right. So we go track down the sh uh, Ishenazar. Because we don't have time to mess around. Or does he come to find us because he we've got his little happy you. harmonics. Of course he does. You come out, and not long after, you start kind of wandering around looking for him, and he comes up on you, and you, you get that sensation of all those emotions mm. and things kind of like rolling up on you. Um, but this time, you're more prepared for it. You keep it under control, and it flashes, did you find it? If you know we did. You could sense it before. Really? It was nice of you to ask, but here you go. And takes it and like puts it on itself and it actually so the two of its eyes come looking through the mask. I mean that wasn't something I needed to see. Well, their eyes all shift and shuffle to get the two right ones there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Why not? You get you get one insect, that, that you get one cool. human. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with that. Remember that for next time. So as it does that <clears throat> You are all flashed with the mental image of a humanoid form entering the raft chamber. Um, it's difficult to disturb, to discern, to discern anything specific about it. It's definitely humanoid. Um, but uh, there's a flash of orange and 
uh, heavy cloaks and robes that just you know distort the actual shape of the person and there's a lot of bleed through of other emotional things like what just anger fear sadness despair. it's just a mix of things that he's got going on all the time okay. that makes it hard to to pinpoint specific details but okay. strong emotions mm-hmm So now we know it's a person who has terrible fashion sense. Well, but... unfortunately, you know, Aeon Priest saw wear red and orange. Yeah. But we know it's not these two fools. Not them, no. Well, there's only either... Can we see... Does it... Are there hand... Can we see the hands of the Aeon Priest? Mm -mm. Can we tell if they're tall, short, heavy, thin? Stooped over and, and moving with, you know, trying to keep themselves in the shadows. Okay. And what did they do? Pack up the pack up the they raft? Just entered, and... They entered the chamber where the raft was. We don't see them leaving or anything? Mm -mm. That's useless. I feel like I've been cheated. Let's go back to the chamber where the raft was. I'll look around and see if somebody hid it in plain sight with all this rest of this junk. Okay. It saved the flights down to about a backpack. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So Larry will find it for sure. If Shonazar gets the sense of my <laughs> displeased emotions as we leave. Okay. I mean, anybody could have stole those Aeon Priest's robes. Mm-hmm. Not likely. I mean, who, you know, the, the idea being that it would be somebody who was just coming in. They've got all the security. They've got all of the security. Why would anybody bother with a disguise if that was the case? I mean, you've already seen the lack of security. Because if they know what Ishkanar can do and how he communicates, then the disguise was meant to fool him as well as anyone that he would be able to project that Could to. Be. And I'm still voting for Onnit because he's all up in the Aeon Priest business and he wants to be one. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't he steal their stuff? Or it's Crazy Lady who was angry and was clearly I sending us on a red herring. I think we three of them together and but... beat them until one of them, one of them tells us the truth. Yeah, but first let's go look for the, the pack and see if we can find it. Okay. okay. All right. We'll start with the one who only has one hand so the other two know we mean business. <laughs> yeah, but they probably already know that she only has one hand. Right. I'm just going to cut the other one off. No. Well, that's an option. <laughs> that, seems, that seems a little extreme, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe so not perception. torture. So perception checks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're going to lock. Um, I am... I'm going to put some effort into this for my intellect. Yeah, these are different. Me too. <gasps> I rolled a natural 20! Go you. There you go, Spendy. Thank you. I have three now. <laughs> I know, right? I rolled a natural 20. Maybe she'll be able to find something this time. Let's hope. <laughs> All right, so searching the place, you don't find the pack. Okay. You don't but, find any sign. But we're sure that we don't find the pack. Right. Um... But apparently I do find some other cool stuff. Well, that's good, because I'm down a cipher. You found a speed boost, and I will even let you identify it off that 20. Okay. I had an effective 11. I, had a sh I have a shocker still. You have a shocker? I have a shocker, but I don't have anything else. Here, you can have a speed boost. You're going to probably need it. You probably need it, too, but I only have one. It just lowers your lowers your edge or increases your edge, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all. So it lowers the cost of doing speed things. So in the clutter of things and devices, um, go ahead and give me a speed defense roll, Scott. Well, I'm sorry, Scott. I should have maybe is given that to you. Oh, this is your intrusion. Yeah, yeah twenty. <laughs> nice. Okay. So you managed to avoid putting your foot through this uh, anomalous hole in the space around it. 
which you're pretty certain would have probably possibly even severed your foot from your leg. One-way portal. Not nice. Not a one-way portal, but it has very sharp edges. Oh, okay. It has teeth. You know, it's very thin, and so anything that comes against it the wrong direction gets sliced. Yeah. Accidentally kicked a bit into it. And... You watched it go through and not go through. Wow. So let's, let's watch out for stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe it went through the portal. Do you think someone hid the... How big is the portal? It's not that big. Okay. I mean, it's it's only about yay big. So it's about the size... It's big enough size... to like step in. So it's big enough to lose your foot. But not big enough to do much else. So it's about the size of a saucer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a lot of the stuff that's around it is garbage. So it's the, like, it's the trash compactor. Kind of, maybe. <laughs> like, this is the place where people were throwing things at it, like, to right. throw it in. Right. And they were missing. Or so they were hitting and missing. Right. These are the slackiest people ever. They are just... <laughs> not, they don't deserve their raft. They really don't deserve their raft. Actually, I am half... I kid you not. A clutter of devices uh, contains a few dangers for those looking through them, including an invisible spot that swallows matter and sends it elsewhere, which the AM priests were using as a garbage chute. A PC who stumbles on the anomaly must succeed on a difficulty 5 speed defense roll to avoid suffering 5 points of damage that ignores armor. Oh, wow! So, um, even on a, on a success, they lose an article of clothing such as a shoe or a piece of equipment. I went ahead with your nat 20, ignored that. <laughs> but only because you rolled a nat 20. Right? right. Wow. Good time to roll a nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. All right. So we are definitely certain that it, it, that it is not in here. Right. And that somebody dressed as a an Aeon priest took it. Right. Let's go back to her lab. Okay. okay. We have some questions. So you're going to uh, Gathea's lab or the office of... Ladris? Right. Yeah. I, I'd like to talk to both of them at the same time. Let's see if we can find on it too, while we're coming through here. And yep. We'll throw him under the bus, too. All right. On it is in the uh, uh, corridor nexus. He is currently sitting against a pillar in the, uh, the hallway area. And sort of this, like, almost like a tendon-looking shape pillar uh, stretched really tight from floor to ceiling. He is leaning against that and snoring slightly. I kick him. <laughs> what? Oh, hey. I just was resting my eyes. I thought I'd take a break for a little bit. Hey, we have some questions. Come with us. Okay. Let's go down the Misty Corridor. No, we're not going down the Misty Corridor. We don't no, have I time. want him to go down the Misty Corridor. We don't have time to take him down the Misty Corridor. We'll do that later. I'm not supposed to go down the Misty Corridor. Why not? Because it's a gold corridor. I'm only allowed to go down the green corridors. They say it's not safe. It's not. You sent us down there. But anyway. You said you were allowed to go down the gold corridors. He's always got an excuse. Come on. We've got some questions. All of these people do. I know. Not liking any of them right now. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we got. We have to help them. Anyway, so I guess we'll head to head to Ladris, or do we want to go to Gilthea first? Let's get. Gilthea's probably easier to find. Okay, we'll find her. We'll gather her. Okay. So we'll get a Gilthea. Uh huh. Well, that's actually what I was thinking. Ladris would be better because you run her down. Oh, and then just. And then take her and the kid to Gilthea. All right. Hopefully we'll find them both on right. the way. So you hit the office, and she's in her office, okay. and then you head down to Gethia's lab. and uh, I spin her some tail because I've like, got lies. What, what are you, what's going on? Why? We'll explain it when we get together. <sighs> Did you find it? We've got we'll some, explain it when we all get together. We've got some pertinent information that could that's going to lead us to exactly who do this. Hey, yes, you know you what? Do. You've got less than a day, and you're going to be dead. So I think you should make some time. All right. These people really people, don't have a sense of urgency. No. No, I do have a sense of urgency. I've got to try to get people not panicking. All the right. stupid council told everybody what was going on. Well, okay. So anyway. <coughs> All right. So we get to Gilthea's uh, lab. 
What's up with this council? How well do you know them? So you're probably wondering why I've gathered you all here today. So I do, I am trained in the ability of all tasks involving identifying or assessing danger, lies, quality, importance, function, or power. Okay. So when appraise they start the to appraise all the things, appraise okay. all the things and appraise all the lies. Okay. So I will be looking for liars. All right. For lying liars. Lying, lying liars. liars that lie a lot. Okay. So it has come to our attention that the Aeon priests that you believe stole the raft. Oh, can I start? Ah, yeah, you can start. I take out the axe that's still powered up by the mm -hmm. thing, chunk it into a table. Okay. We are having a very bad day. To smoke in the table. <laughs> we are having a very bad day. You will all listen to us and you will answer the questions. I think that sets the tone that we're looking for very well. Thank you, Alhiri. Please begin. Okay. So, we have reason to believe that the two Aeon priests that have been missing for a year are have been missing for a year because they're dead. And they have been dead for a very long time. You will find their bodies outside the portal to... The other place. The other place uh, to at the Sarn Saranac. To head town. To head town. No, we're not calling it that again. And we... Saranac. Yeah. I told you it wasn't Lysen and Coors. Okay, so we also have wait, it on wait, very... Who said that? Uh, Lithia. Okay. Lithia. There is no... Gilthia. Gilthia. Gil no, not Gilthia. Um, no, because Gilthia was... She was Ladris. adamant. Ladris. So she's saying that to Gilthia. La Later says that to Gilthia. Okay. We also have it on very good authority that the last person seen entering the room before the disappearance of the raft was dressed as an Aeon priest. Which means... So why am I here? Because you want to be an Aeon priest. Why did you steal the robes? I didn't steal any robes. What robes are we talking about? Um. <laughs> you have to roll dice now, Deborah. <laughs> are you kidding? I just know these things. Come on, yeah, I'm going to roll some dice. <laughs> I just know. You might want to spend some effort. Yeah. Since you, I, I'm not trying to tell you how to play your character. Fine. I'm just, just reminding you that you can. I can. That's an option. I will. Thank you. I will. <laughs> I was I was debating, and then I was going to see how I rolled, and then but no, I will first. That is a two. So here you go. All that um, XP she's collected. I am earning and burning today. <laughs> Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's no, a two again. Yeah, here, I've got four. Oh, all right. <laughs> I am earning and burning other people's XP. Spends it. I know. Right. Scott Scott doesn't roll ones and twos like we do. If you don't do better, I'm switching you out. <laughs> now we're threatening our dice. Well, of course we are. And I got an 18. <laughs> Yay. See? See, threatening works. I'm telling you. So was he lying? He seems to be genuinely confused. Okay. Okay. Dang it. I wanted it to be him. Well, it was it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It's not necessarily off the table. He's just genuinely confused. <laughs> yeah, that just might be his state of being. That's true. A little stoner kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know why he was sleeping. Right? He probably had Twinkie wrappers next to him that we didn't notice. There were Cheetos in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we get when we get the nod that it's probably not him. Ristam looks at the other two. The other two. Okay, so Aeon priests, which t which one of you took the raft? Because we don't have time for this. They look at each other. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's just some nonsense. We're gonna roll some dice again. Roll twice. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, one for each. Gotcha. So which one are you doing first? Uh, I'm doing Gelthia first, because I actually think she she just was a little too adamant that it was the other guys. Okay. So I rolled an eight, so I'm rolling again. Okay. I'm gonna use I'm gonna I'm gonna use no, I can't use the app because I already rolled that one. So let me Actually you know oh I rolled an, I rolled an eleven. 
Actually, you know what? We can all try to do it. I just realized that. So I'm going to also. I just have to be trained in it. Right. I'm going to also give it some effort, though. I rolled a 19. You're, you're trained in it. Yeah. But, yeah. So. so that helps my. It does. I rolled a 19. I rolled an 18. Mine would be more for applying uh, intimidation to make them buckle. All right. So you're, you're going to try to intimidate to make them buckle, um, which lowers the diff by one for both of them. And I also spent effort, and I rolled a 19. Okay, so... And I... 11? Yes. And I'm trained. One plus one plus two plus one. No, you're... So, you're still uncertain. Mm -hmm. Something doesn't ring right. For Gilthia? For Gilthia. Okay, let's roll two for, um, what's your face? Okay. Ledris. Do you want effort at all? Yeah. Not with a 19 on the second die. Oh, okay. I'll still roll. Now I can just roll a 19 three times in a row like I did the five. I'd feel like... That was a 10, so we'll go with her 19. Okay. <laughs> You're still not certain. <laughs> You're like, hey, but you know what? I bet you can find him in there if you go looking. Right? <laughs> None of us can do what we're supposed to be able to do, but we can all do what the other person can. Ring around the rosy. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right. She seems to be honest. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Because she's missing a hand because she was caught as a thief before. <laughs> she can't carry it. <sighs> okay. Uh. Gilthia, we don't have time for those. There's a great big walking brain that's about to kill everybody in this town. Because of you. Right, give, me, give me a social roll. Persuasion or intimidation. I would like to use my stim to decrease the difficulty of the next action by three steps. Okay. So you quick fast go, hold on. <laughs> I seem to demonstrate that I am capable of tremendous amounts of pain. <laughs> Right in my forehead. <laughs> huh. Dennis removed the tooth yesterday. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. You know what? I'm, it's a five. I'm going to re-roll that because <laughs> I would much rather it's a little higher than a five. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> It was the second roll. It was a seven. No. <laughs> twelve. I'll take a twelve. The reduced by three. Fine. I took it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I am not giving anything to that brainiac thing that's out there. We have not come so far. We have not come to this place to find things, fix them, and then turn them over to whatever monstrosity comes from whatever other dimensions. I am not doing it. I am never going to do it. That is not why we're here. Okay, great. Give it to us because we need it. I pick up the axe. Well, you only got one left. No, it's not the one with one hand. Uh, I gotta it's, take it. It's no, not it, the one it, with one hand. It's the other one. No, it's it is. It is the one with one. Oh, hand. it is the one with one hand. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. She's no, got a prosthetic. So oh, I thought you said it was. Too. I thought you said it was Gilthea, not Gilthea. Yeah, she's the one with one handed. Oh, 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 oh. I, oh, I, oh, I didn't write that down properly. Okay. So, sorry. Gosh. Note takers. No, I know. Well, I've only got some. <laughs> Are you threatening me, sir? Yes. I'm not threatening anything. I'm not doing it. I am not handing anything over to that thing. I mean, you're not going to be able to hand anything to anybody. That's it. And she reaches down to her belt and she turns a dial on the front of her belt. At which point, she seems to kind of get really goopy for a moment. And then a second one of her steps out of the first one. And then the first one and the second one both snap to rigidity. There are suddenly two of her standing in front of you. Hit her with the hot axe. <laughs> Roll initiative. So you yesterday. That is. Did you do it again? I did it again. Did you ever find the die from yeah. yesterday? Yeah. Okay, good. Woo, I 
I go on a nine? I'm just saying it didn't hit me, so I don't know where it went. We could be. Oh, I see it. Oh, do you? I do. Yeah. I know I lost it. Table that. I kicked, I <laughs> kicked it. <laughs> I was pulling out the other die. Yeah, I don't have one. Where'd your phone go? Bring me the light back. Yeah, I can't use my phone because my phone is already. Yeah, I'll get it. Open. I'll get it after. Okay. I got three more twenties. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's everybody going on? Uh, nine. Five! Twelve. So. Get the, uh, I heard it. I would have put it over here. Oh, uh, we'll find it. But I want to find it here. Alright, is anybody spending effort on initiative? Is that, does that go under, um... Or if you have initiative as a trained skill. Does it go under... Ah, there it is. There it is. Does it go under intellect no. for effort or might speed. or speed? Okay. okay. I will use it for speed. I will bump that then. So if I throw effort at my initiative, where does that put my five? Does it make it a six or does it? No, it lowers the difficulty. Oh, so do I get to reroll it or what? No, it just lowers the difficulty when you spend effort on it. Well, how does that function on initiative then? It just like any other skill check. So you would say declare you're going to spend it. She's going to go on a set number. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if it was a so if we had multiple bad guys, it could conceivably it could shift you in the initiative or it might not. It okay. could even be enough to tip you over and, and beat one bad guy. Okay. Um, in this case, it doesn't help you. Well, poop. Oh, you know what? You're right. I rolled a nine, but I'm also um, I also been trained in initiative. I apologize. Throw the I don't think it probably it. really matters. I don't know what that means. I thought you might. I thought I might too, but I don't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Punk told me to throw the cow at it, and I'm not sure what I'm throwing the cow at. I have no idea. Other than if it's a Monty Python reference. It could be. Sorry, horror punk. Run away. No, we don't have time to do running I, away. I, I don't run away. Except when it was a fish that sucks my heat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Phrasing? <laughs> Excellent time to run. <laughs> it's PG-13. I'm going to ignore that and move on. I shall rise above. Mm, never mind. Okay. If only I knew who you were. <laughs> I, I have to say, Subtle. no, I really have to say, and I will say it for the world. I hate the fact that everybody uses aliases on these things, and it makes me crazy. Because yep. I want to know who you are. <laughs> I hate not knowing things. It is very distracting, because I keep looking to see who's following, who's watching it. And I only <laughs> recognize a couple people's names, yeah. and I'm like, oh. and I'm pretty sure some of them are just bots that like auto watch i don't know like yeah. they wouldn't be talking if they were bots no no, yeah. no 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 not the people talking but there are no. several the ones that are watching yeah there's, oh, they, there's... they could just be people lurking i mean yeah. you've got enough people people in there. turn it on and just let it run in the background so. yep. or or they, or they poke in and they they see that something's going on here because there's a bunch of people in the room let's go see what's going on yeah mm -hmm. so. they come in in the midst of one of their silliness right all right so she's divided in two so, yep so she's divided in two there are two of her um, and all of you guys are at the other end of the initiative. Dang it. Wait, didn't you, some of you guys have higher initiatives? Yeah, apparently not, not enough. High. I only rolled a nine, even though I'm trained no, in the initiative. I thought, it's I not thought Scott good. was higher than that. Or Punk says, Sven and Sonny say hello. Oh, that is Derek. Okay. Does, does the cow thing make more sense then? Still no, but. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. We but tried. Yeah. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I know who you are now. <laughs> all right okay all right so uh the two gilthias yes you you, you uh i'm you. trying to figure out where i'm gonna go with this <laughs> well, i'm gonna let my least one of them. that's yeah, what it looks like I think, if... I think hilarious gonna get it probably from both of them yeah you, you did kind of call them out so they both punch you with their prosthetic hands. 
you can take four hands. Yes. We're still not doing this. So, speed defense <laughs> rolls. <laughs> hand, not skin. Moving along. <laughs> PG-13. Uh, 15. And that 20. Okay, so you get hit once. There's speed defense. Oh, you get speed. skill. All right, so you actually get hit none at all. <laughs> <laughs> you get hit nuns. Nuns at all. Nuns at all. all. Yay. <laughs> I forgot you said you had speed defense. So you get missed twice. Ta-da. Ta-da. But it's a close thing. The one, like, whiffs right past your head. Who knew a nerd would have chops? <laughs> She has a prosthetic hand. Something has to have happened to her. Yes. She probably stole something before. <laughs> she probably did. All right. So you, you're next then? Yep. Was it me? It's you three. However order you want, you want, you guys well, want to go. Well, I mean, Scott's Scott's the one who's clo- up close Great. and personal. With all kinds of damage heading, her, her. heading that way. It's a nine on the attack. Okay. Not enough. I think so. So you swing at her, and you're, she takes two swings at you. You swing at her. It's a lot of missing around. Uh, who's up next? Who wants to go? Uh, do you want to hit her first, or do you want me to swing and miss? You can swing and miss first. Okay. I'm going to spend some might to swing and miss. I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to miss. I could be wrong. You just never know. Are you spending might? Yes. I rolled a 12. How much, did, how much did you lower the difficulty? I can only lower it by one. Okay. I didn't know if you had anything that would... Yeah, no, I can like, only Are you using a light weapon? No, I'm using a medium weapon, so... Okay. So you miss. Wow, that's not good. All right. I, um... I'm going to use the hammer. Does the effort to hit go on... Does that count on speed or might? Uh, you can apply, uh, usually it's might for melee weapons, speed okay. for ranged weapons. Okay, so I can't do that now. I have to hang on to my might. I only have okay. four points of might left, so. Yeah, it's not good. Because that thing hurt me a lot. I rolled 19, though. That's good. That's enough to hit her. Okay, so four points of damage. Okay. Kabam. Plus three. Plus three. Plus three. Oh, right, because it's 19. It's not quite a critical hit, but it comes close. Hey, plus three is enough. Plus three is good. Yeah, seven points of damage is not bad. Yep, that's good. Oh, she goes all gooey again. Um, Does that thing on her belt that she touched, mm-hmm. is it on both belts or is it on only one? It is only on one. Okay. Good to know. Nice yeah. catch. Well, because I was envisioning. And it also multiple... looks like it's gone dark. Oh, okay. okay good. Even better. Because I was envisioning some multiplicity nonsense going on. Nope. It looks like it was probably a cipher that she just burned out. Okay. Cool. I like it. It's, it's her turn. Yeah. Unless it the is... other two fools nope. want to join in. Nope. No. I bet no, on they're it. Like, ah. they're like, we're not fighters, especially the teenager. Um, how about kick free action? It's not yet. Free action? Go get your guards. What? They don't have guards. They don't even have security. I know. Just saying. Go get some security. Security. All right. So, uh, Gethia, um, comes at you twice. Again. Again. Really? Because I hit one of her. And actually, she got to commit you. Oh, once. nice job! You only yeah. have four might. You've just asked him to swing I, you at know. you. What are you thinking? Right. I forgot I that they were both in melee with her. <laughs> so yeah, she would. One, the one that that you swung at would wheel would whirl around on you because you hit her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sixteen on the die with the uh, the skill and speed defense. Okay, so you miss, you get missed. Oh, the other I need one to. Rolls around on you. I need to roll two. Yep. Uh, eighteen. 18. So it, this fist comes at you and you're like, huh, and it just misses you. Nice. You can actually almost feel the passing of it. Nice. Well, she's got pretty high 
scores, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's some serious stuff. I don't like her. No, me either. We're, we're going to be in a lot of trouble here in a minute. No, we're not. Okay. No, we're not. So that brings it to you three. Scott? Scott. Hit the one with the bell. Go for the eyes, go boo. Go for the eyes, boo. Actually, go for the arm. Okay. Because you don't want me, you don't want me doing with, anything with that, do not you? Not with a seven. No, <laughs> uh, with a seven. a seven. I thought it was a one. No. Seventeen. I'll take a seventeen. Do you lower the difficulty to hit any? And you miss. Dang it. Yeah, <sighs> she's really hard to hit. Oh, no. I was counting on those seven points. Yeah. All right. Are you rolling or am I rolling? Go ahead. You go next. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lower it by one as well. I rolled a nat 20. Nice. You get your points back. Yes. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Is it the same one Deborah hit or is it the other one? Uh, It's the one with the belt. That is the other one. I am am willing to take a guess that if we kill the original, the other one will will go inert. At least that's my hope. Good save. 13, which is not going to be enough. 13? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, that's... Missed, you missed, so that's back to her. She's going to split those attacks again. One on. Actually, she's not going after you. Yeah. you. You're whiffing around all the place. You two, however, are threats at the moment. Right. Apparently. Great. So the one that you've been hitting swings around at you again, sure. and the other one whirls away from Scott and swings on you. Um, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna spend for speed defense, and I'm actually gonna re-roll that. <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot that my count was wrong because I only have to spend two points for speed, which I'm gonna do again. I can't re-roll, but the good news is I get the four instead of the one. So I bumped my speed defense. Okay. She hits me. Four, six points of damage. 17 for me. All right. What? 17. And you lowered the difficulty. And I lowered the difficulty. You were missed. All right, I'm debilitated. Uh-oh. But I have not taken my five minute, my my uh, one action briefly yet, so... Well, why are you prone down on the ground? Why don't you do I'm that? I'm not prone on the ground. I'm <laughs> just not <laughs> doing well. Uh, I look bad. I'm bleeding a 17, little. 17, I did spend effort. Okay, to hit? Yep. Okay, so you hit her. Cool. Uh, and that was... So it was belt or no belt? Uh, belt. Okay. Um, so that's nine points. She's looking really weak. Good. I take my one action, action recovery. And recovery, and okay. I rolled a six. All right. I'm going again with the hammer again. Okay. Belt or no belt? Um, oh, you've been the, on the other one. Yeah, I've been with the other one, so I'm still with her. Yeah. <gasps> Nat twenty. Yay! Yay! All right. So any points you spend, you get those back immediately. I didn't spend any points on this roll. Okay. So. All right. Um, never mind. Yeah. So you hit. So I hit uh, with four points and then whatever else happens. So five more. So it's nine points of damage. Also not looking good. Good. So. But they can still swing. Mm-hmm. But it's our turn now. Or no, you just went. Was, oh. I was just saying, no, it isn't. Yeah, no. it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn to defend. Yeah, it is. So, Deborah. Yes. She clubs you with her with her, her do, fist. Do, don't I get to use my speed defense? Yes. Okay. She's swinging she's, at you. She's she's swinging at you to hit. Okay, and I'm reducing her difficulty again, or my difficulty. 
not hers. They don't use hers. <laughs> no, that's a bad plan. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it feel I good to be able to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Hit me again over here. <laughs> that was an eight. <laughs> Not, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> that's not enough. That's not going to be enough. All right. Oh, and that was a nine. Okay. So, I'm going down. <laughs> I've only got four <laughs> points of my left. <laughs> Just because it's late even later doesn't mean we're not still PG-13. Stop it. Okay. Um, How much? Six. All right. All right. So this one does not tell you what debilitated is. Uh, the, some of the other sheets do. Uh, in order to, it's more difficult to do things. And if you roll um, 17, 18, or 19, you do not get the additional uh, damage. Okay. And if you spend effort, I think you have to spend extra for effort. Mm -hmm. It's like an extra point. I think it's extra point. Of course, at this point, you probably don't have enough to spend anything what? for effort. <laughs> I have, I still have speed effort that I can pull. You still have speed in your pool, yeah. Yeah. But if you if you spend effort for your speed defense, you know, to boost your speed defense, it'll cost you extra. No, it won't. No, it won't. No, it won't. All right. Well, you're not speed. You're not doing that right now. Okay. I mean, you can do that right now. I didn't mean. I, I no, didn't no, mean no. But I'll actually, yeah, I'll do it on my turn. Right. Yeah. I I'll mean, do it on my yeah. turn. Right. And so the other one is hitting you, Monica. Uh, yeah. Oh, the other one's hitting me. Yeah, she's swinging at you. Um, I'm going to spin for my speed defense. Uh, well, I spent for it, but it's not going to do me any good. I rolled a 10. So 10's probably not, isn't enough, is it? Six. Good thing I put one more might in that, that last might in my might pool. I have one left. Oh, thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. And in a blur of motion, uh, the one with the belt, she jabs you, uh, jabs Monica, and then backhands you. So give me a speed defense roll. Dirty cow. Dirty yep, cow. sure does. <laughs> <laughs> For six. Oh. Glass jaw over there. <laughs> Come on, man, get in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Act like you mean it. No, oh, you shush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the effort, it's a 16 on the die. Okay. Yay. 16 with effort is enough to hit her. Excellent. She dies. Oh, thank God. Or actually, are you trying to kill her or are you just trying to knock her unconscious? Uh, I'm trying to cut her arm off. All right, so you cut her arm off and she drops screaming. Does the other one go away? No. Dang it. Well, that was worth a shot. It's a good idea. All right. So I guess we're attacking the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. I, I really don't have anything I can spend in the way of effort without, like, oh, so consciousness. So I'm just going to try my best. Uh, 17 is not enough to hit. I'm going to use my speed boost. Okay. So that I can now use speed. I can. It basically counteracts the. Yeah. The debilitating. Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of thought so. All right, um, but I can't throw any sad effort when I roll a no, seventeen and it's not enough. Speed boosted. Right. right. So, so I'm gonna. It's her turn again. It's her. Oh, turn. that was my that action. Is your action. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, she swings one more time at you, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Sure, because I'm still standing. Yeah, that's the one that's yeah. still standing. Oh, yeah. So she swings at you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me. Your oh, own. my speed well. defense. Right. Okay, because I'm um, bumping. Uh, come on, baby. Wow, that was a 10, so have another card back. Fifteen. Fifteen, you lowered the difficulty in? I did. She lowered it by two, didn't she? Because the speed boost? No, because I was I was debilitated, so I had it, it basically evened me back out on my speed. Right. Oh, okay. Speed boost only only reduces the amount she has to spend out of her speed pool. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Sorry. No, right, no. So it just misses. That's all I need. So three points is better than six. Yes. Wait. 
No, no. I did get hit? No. No. But, no, okay. no, but you had to spend three to, to avoid getting yeah. hit. Or two, I guess. In your case. Yeah, it's actually still two. It's yeah. still two. Yeah. yeah. Two is better than six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was her, the end of her action. It's you guys. Come on, Scott. Go get her. So you're going to move around and hit the other one? You just like, wheel around, backhand with the axe. Okay. Miss. <sighs> Come on. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. She's gonna get away. <laughs> or the cipher's gonna run out. Yeah. So she does one more attack against Deborah. <sighs> All right. It's not turning her back on you. No, I wouldn't think so. We got the bump of the arrow for it. <laughs> uh, that was a two. I'm taking six points. Yep. So does does that drop so me into she, a pair? So she drives another. Is that? She drives yeah, a knife hand. You're not even sternum. able because I'm at, I'm I'm at minus eight now. Wait 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 wait! You can't be at minus eight. You that overflows no, it, into your speed. Okay, so and I had four points of speed left. So, so then you're in the then you're in the mic. now and you're into your to intellect. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay. You don't, whatever go to you don't go right. negative. You, okay. it just flows over. So you're okay. actually so I, able to move. Yeah, you're on the ground because my intellect so is drops. At two. So she drops yeah. you. You're incapacitated. I'm still conscious because I got an intellect right. of two, but that's all I got. She hit you, and you will die. Yep. This is not this is not good. And Jeff's really no use. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Increasing my effort. Okay. Really? You've been sitting over there on four of them, you big jerk? You just I just four. got that fourth Oh. <laughs> I just did it when I pulled that last attack because I didn't think I was going to get any more. <laughs> you and I are both sitting over here with no XP, losing our mom, losing our shirts. About to and, die. And about to die. And he's over there saving <sighs> stuff he's in, and leveling his character instead of saving our, our bacon. <laughs> I see how it is. He's such a good That's friend. How he's wow. saving his, it's how he's saving your bacon. <laughs> I see. That is true. He uh, should be about to save our bacon this time 13 now. 13 lowered by two? Yeah. Um, Since that should actually, that might actually hit. 13 by a lowered by two would hit. Because that would be the equivalent yep, of a, a six. Mm -hmm. It's nine more. Cleave it down the middle. So you cleave that one down the middle and she's done. It's about dang time. That's well, because Scott doesn't have to re-roll like you and I do. Right? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't I think seem we, to. I mean, What's the rolling today? I'm pretty sure we were rolled about 12 I, XP I have, worth I have of rolls. I have no idea. I lost track of how many times I, I gave you cards. that one down the middle, and after about two or three minutes of laying there, it fades. Good. So it liquefies. After and... about two or three minutes of laying there, we're only seven minutes away from the end of our 10-minute <laughs> refresh. <laughs> oh, no, because I've already used my 10 no, minutes. So you're on the ground for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Unless bad. somebody heals her. Uh, we can try. I'm out. I'll out, tell you out. what. I will. I will attempt to heal. For you three. should heal me because when I'm out sick, I'm a horribly distracting player. <laughs> <laughs> I will attempt three, but I'm not. Only, nice. I will like five. Lie, it's, it's not good. I couldn't yeah. have. I, no, no, I, I didn't know. I can't heal her. She's really bad. I think she's gonna bleed <laughs> out. I think she has internal bleeding, <laughs> and she's coughing like she's. Bring it up a lot. Actually, she could kill herself at this point. <laughs> she I mean, could with, actually. She coughed too hard. With the wrong mental action, she could. Right. She could just end it. Think too hard. Boom. Yeah, don't do that. I won't look around. I won't you do close your eyes. Go to sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go first aid for four. Okay, so that's a difficulty twelve or a difficulty four. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh look. So you got four back. I would put one in each. <laughs> <laughs> I think that sounds. Oh, wait, well, you do what you want to do, though. But I think that sounds like an excellent plan. And I think because I have four points, I have one extra. So I'm going to put two in might. <laughs> I need to look up how that works, because I'm not certain if that brings you all the way out or not. What, putting one in each pool? It probably that, doesn't. That's a really... Well, then what... Okay, so, he, well, so here's the thing. I have... I still have... So what I'll do is I'll do two and two. 
two to might, so two to speed. So you'll have two and two. Because I think you actually two. might, for healing, you might have to put it all in one category. Oh, you might. You know what? Now that you mention it, oh, you may. fine. I'll put all four in might then. Yeah. And then, but, you, so but that brings you, you back one up on the, on, the, on the damage track. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You're right. Healing, you can only do one. You can't split it. It's the refresh rolls that you can. All right. All right. So while he's trying to heal her, I'm going <laughs> to take my 10. And then, oh, stop. <laughs> Oil can. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, so bright side, uh, the axe probably cauterized the wound. True. She passes out. She, she streams for a bit and then she just passes out. Well, but the smart part was in not killing her because she didn't tell us where the thing was. I'm pretty sure we can find it. I mean, get I, don't cracking. Know. I don't know. Savaging it's Numenera, I may not size. be able to. Probably somewhere here in the lab. Well, start looking because you're the one in the best shape for it. And you're the one most likely to find <laughs> yeah, it. I, I have to sit here for another six minutes. That's <laughs> It's not quite enough. All right. What well, after I'm, 10. Since we know about what size it is. Mm -hmm. What if I'm not actually do, doing like a. a, a uh, salvage Numenera. I'm just doing a basic perception. That's all you'd be doing at this point because okay. you're not salvaging Numenera. Yeah. She has hidden it, so you actually have to beat her ability to hide it. Okay. Okay. It's so her lab and she knows what space once I fit. get Once I get to the point where I'm able to move around easily, <laughs> I'm going to use my imaginative solution and apply an effort to an intellect task. And that gives me an additional free level of effort. Okay. So... So two levels of effort. So I'm playing two levels of effort. I am assuming that salvaging Numenera will be of no use here to me. Okay. You never know in this lab. I don't know. Can't. Well, I'll give you salvaging Numenera. Okay. I mean, you can you can root through, and that would allow you to uh, eliminate Other certain things. items in the room. Okay. Thirteen on the die, reduced by three. No. Nope. She's got better than a seven. For all item for all tasks relating to the raft, she has an eight as a base. Dirty, dirty creature. So you you dropped it, and you dropped it to the point where it was doable. I won't I won't be able to do that again. I have to take ten hours before I can do that again. However, you can aid one another and search together. Wait, wait, it's right there. I see it. <laughs> From down here on the ground, I can spot it because it's under the cabinet. I think it's in the light fixture right above me. <laughs> or that might just be—I might just be seeing things. I don't know. More than I need to. All right. Ah. Are you? So am I aiding? Am I aiding you or are you aiding me? I'm aiding you. You roll better. Me, you roll I'm just better. Basic perception. You roll better than I do. And I got two effort. You got two effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you trained in perception? I am not trained in perception. Okay. I'm looking at the low places to aid him. I'm just looking to see how much you're dropping it down by. So we're dropping it three steps. Yeah. Uh, 14. That is not enough. From my perspective here on the ground, I will aid you. Because it's different perspective. You never know. Because a 14 is a three. Enough. Hey, on it. You're curious. You find it. Yeah, go get it, boy. On it will help. <laughs> You want to take another? Yeah, I'll. I can't do so, another search like that. So you're you're at about an hour. You're search. You've been searching for about an hour so far. Okay, I can only drop it one this time though. I mean, I can only drop it by one. I only have one, one effort. So and you are drop, you aiding you it? Drop, you drop the difficulty by one for your uh -huh. effort. And then on it is aiding. You aiding? I'll aid. All right. I'm still laying so her on three, the ground so looking for my perspective. Down. Do you have an XP you can spend but on that? I there's the nat 20. That's some nonsense. Well, Shenanigans. I, well, I rolled a 6. No, he used all of his XP when he bumped his effort. I know. We're all out. That made it a lot easier to kill her, though. Kill her. All right. Well, we'll keep searching. I'll okay. keep laying here for a while. I'm going to say that eventually <laughs> you search this place to death. Thank you. Because as you search things... You're going to lower the difficulty. Let's just start piling time. all the crap we find that's not it in a corner. <laughs> so after a very yeah. long, tedious, methodical search, you eventually find where she stashed it. Inside the wall. 
So we've got the sledgehammer out. <laughs> well, no, it, it's, there's a bunch of stuff put up in front of it. There's like a book, uh, a shelving unit. Uh, so we start job. moving to stuff. Told you I saw that patterns of the dust were different. Shut up and lay there quietly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, the ground scraped. It looks like she swung the bookcase out. Why didn't you mention that then? 10 hours ago. I thought I did, didn't I? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. I'm the delirious. Aeon Priest comes back mm -hmm. um, from, she left the room at some point. Right. She comes back and she hits you with a hypo. Oh, fantastic. What does that do? Uh, you regain uh, four points. Four whole points? Four whole points. Four whole points. Does it just in my healing or wherever. is it? Wherever. Four points to anything. All so right. now if you put it and in you can your break that up however you want because it's not a medicine check. Mm -hmm. That is a cipher. She just blew. Okay, so I will put, I will, I will drop all four into my speed. Um, and now you are no longer on the damage track. Yay! Because now I'm four and four and two. You're not going to need that intellect. No. <laughs> In the land, I'll in just the building that speaks in mind. I'll just spit here. I'll just sit here and poop myself. Because <laughs> poop is PG thirteen. <laughs> Don't forget to chew and swallow. And now I'm gonna have two worst times ever. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely way up there in the on the definitely worst way up there on the worst, worst right. memories what was that ever. Time a nerd with a fake arm almost killed you. <laughs> right. Well, and, so, and, and a jelly clone. And and the worst part is, we still don't. So we don't even have time for us to use the raft to go and get what we need and bring it back so before it has. Day. It's been like hours. Okay. Yeah, it's still night. I mean, you still have most of tomorrow. Oh, okay. We need to sleep. I, I mean, honestly. She says, where are your coordinates? Here in the book. Okay. She takes your book. Uh huh. She gets in the raft. Okay. And the raft vanishes. Wow. Let's hope she comes back. She's got my book. I hope she comes back. I don't know where we go and, after this. And she's got the raft. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take my the hour long. Okay. At the end of your hour-long rest, she still has not returned. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, so I do. I would have had an hour in there at some point beyond not. the healing. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. We need that. So. You guys end up falling asleep taking your 10-hour rest. Are you guys going to set watches or anything, or are you just clock? <laughs> we don't have time yeah, for that. I don't, I don't we got on it, on it. I don't okay. think that's going to happen. So you take your 10-hour rest. So how much do we get back I, from the ten? I, I, I use, I use again the, uh, another D six. I use oh. the disarm chick as a as a mattress. Okay. You're not going anywhere. No, it's only two. In the middle of the night she dies. So when I roll a one, hmm? I automatically get two, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That that's not good though. No, I mean, that that's. I know. I needed more so, than that. Morning rolls around. Uh huh. And the ship is still not back. Man, if that lady went and left us all, I'm going to be so mad. Just as you're about to start complaining really loudly, uh -huh. there's a slight... Okay. And it reappears. Fantastic. Uh, there's a small rent in one of the uh, panels. Ooh, that's not good. She gets out and she says, I hope this is what you needed. And she throws you a small battery-style canister. I hope this is what we needed. Buzzing with power. I think this is what we needed. More than a nap? <laughs> More than an amp? <laughs> a nap. A nap. nap. <laughs> More than a nap. So now we can all live happily ever after. She says, I'm going to go take this to the big brain. All right. You have so fun with it. She folds it up. Collapses it. Slings it over her shoulders. Gives me my book back. Hands you your book back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, sure. Anytime. Mm -hmm. And then we limp out of here. <laughs> she says, don't leave. Yeah, I don't think we can. Wait for me. Okay. They owe us breakfast, at least. Oh, right? <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> she definitely arranges breakfast. Is it shawarma? Yeah. Shawarma. <laughs> 
Um, she always wanted to try shawarma. shawarma. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then she, it's pretty good. and then she also provides you with enough ciphers to refill yourselves to your capacity. Okay. And a hundred shins. Yay! Each. Yay! Can, can we spend another night here and heal again some more? Yes, and... she will let you heal again. Hooray! That should be enough with four rolls. Uh -huh. I'm down. And then you can go home. So wait, so since this is a new day, do we get our? You get all of them again. We get our brief and our ten and our hour. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, fantastic. So four, four, five shins becomes one oh five. Six. Uh, after a second day, I am. I'm good. And you begin the journey home, and we will call it here at 10.30. Yep. Cool. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been Numenera, The Thief, The Clave, and The Ultimatum. <laughs> based on an adventure by Bruce Cordell. Available for Money Cook Games on Money Cook Games' uh, website and on Drive Through RPG. Thank you very much. Have a good night. We'll Bye, everybody. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I was like all over the place, anyways. This has been Marlowe House Presents. I'm Andrew Marlowe. I'm Monica Marlowe. We're the other guys. No, I'm Brenda. Oh, okay. I'm Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and good night. Bye, guys. All right.